Welcome to Mr. J's SES for you Earth and Space Science video tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to set up Google Earth uh, in the way that we need it for this course. So the first thing we're going to do is to set up the view. So I'm going to set it up, and you make sure that you have all the boxes checked off that I check off. If you need to pause the video, then just go ahead and do that. I'm going to turn on the toolbar, the sidebar. I would like the navigation to show always. That gives these navigation tools over here. The grid is often useful. That shows us our latitudes and longitudes. The status bar at the bottom will show us uh, latitude, longitude, and elevation. You'll notice that the elevation is staying fixed at zero right now. And in order to get that to change, uh, there's another option that we're going to set in the tools. But for now, let's just continue on with our view and see if there's anything else we need to set. We can turn on the scale in Legend. That will give us a, a scale bar when we're zoomed in. And if we turn on the atmosphere, then we'll uh, get a nice little haze around the Earth. If you find that uh, distracting, and you don't want it, then you can turn it off. So I'm going to turn it off for now. It gives a little sharper uh, clarity to the image. The other tools that we're going to need to set are in, under Options. So again, you can pause this video and choose all the radio buttons that I've got selected here. The one that often causes concern at uh, the zero elevation is when the terrain is not clicked, then the elevation stays at zero. So turn on that terrain, click apply, and click OK. Now when you move the cursor, you should be able to see the elevation changing. Positive over land and negative in the ocean. OK, well let's look at uh, a couple of the tools. Uh, this is a tool that will tilt and rotate the surface of the Earth, so we can change we can spin the globe by changing it in that orientation, changing the north arrow, sorry. And we can tilt the surface of the Earth. Uh, it looks kind of weird right now, but if we zoom in, let's go into Australia and zoom right in, we'll see the effect of tilting the surface. We really are at a very shallow angle here and that's often very very useful for looking at topographic features. So we'll zoom in. I'm just scrolling in right now. Again, if you, now if you find this grid uh, bothersome right now, we can turn it off to get a better view of the surface. I can rotate to my right, to my left, and I can even turn the surface of the Earth back to being perpendicular to my line of sight. And we can see some folds and some rock formations here. This tool here simply moves you in a by panning to the west, to the east, to the north, and to the south. Okay, so that's basic navigation in Google Earth, getting the latitudes and longitudes and elevations to show. And there's one more very useful tool for looking at topography, and that is using the ruler. So I'm going to turn on the ruler, and there are two ways that you can use this ruler. One is in the line mode, I'm going to show you that first. If I click one time in line mode and I move the cursor, I get a yellow line and it will measure the dot from that feature that I've clicked on to the next feature that I click on. And if I have this set to kilometers, which I do, I'll get the distance in kilometers. If I go to path, I'm just going to clear that line, and if I go to path, when I click the first time, it doesn't look like anything has happened, but when I click again, I get that yellow line from the first point to the second, and it gives me the distance in kilometers. If I continue to click, 
Then I'll get the accumulative distance or cumulative distance that I've traveled. So there's the first dot, there's the second one, there's the third one. This is very useful for constructing topographic profiles. Again, you've got to remember you're not looking at the distance between dots, but the total distance along the path that you're traveling. Okay, I look forward to talking to you next time, and that's all for now.